guys, welcome back to the pig room or welcome to the pig room if you are new here. I actually did not intend on even making a vlog this week. I have been so incredibly busy with getting your guys' orders from Etsy all together and made. I actually have about 30 left to do. I honestly did not think, first of all, I would be getting this many sales. You guys sold me out on so many things. And then second of all, I didn't think that it was going to take this much work to get around to making these orders and getting them out on time. I am a little delayed on getting some orders out and shipped to you guys so I'm spending the rest of the day just getting everything done. I wanted to fill you guys in with something that actually actually a couple things <laughs> that's been going down recently in the pig room. If you guys have not uh, been following me on my Instagram or staying up to date there you guys have no idea what's been going on. This entire week has been so hectic and crazy it's like I feel like I cannot catch a break so I just wanted to jump on here vlog the experience with you guys and just sit and chat. For the last two months my three boys my trio of boys have been getting in a lot more fights and feuds and bickering and teeth chattering and it's been fine for these last two months but up until the last two months I want to say it's been getting a little bit more serious and scary. Last week I actually had my three boys out for free room time and it really seems like the girls trigger them to be a lot more dominant. If you guys don't know I actually have a set of my two girls on the floor so the boys actually when they're in free room time they can go up to their cage and sniff them and stuff and it really does trigger something within the boys for them to kind of get more aggressive with one another and I had actually all three of them. It was first Winston and Ezra who attacked each other and then Kai actually wanted to jump up into that mess and actually attacked Ezra and they went at it kind of like a, a little tornado and there was actually some hair pulling so after that I was like something's going on with the relationship with my boys and it doesn't look good. Obviously you guys know they stay in a 3 by 7 they have so much space to work things out but when it comes to trios it's very 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 difficult for them to stay together. It's, it's very hard. Yesterday actually I was actually about to film this yesterday last night and I was going to but I realized that my camera was dead so I couldn't. I got home after running some errands and I realized that Kai was acting a little bit strange. His eyes were squinted. He was kind of more reserved. He was hiding in his house and I was like something's up. Like I feel like something went down between all the boys. So I decided to give them all a look. Winston was fine. Kai was a little bit weird minus a little kind of scrape that he had on his nose. And then I was checking out Ezra and he actually had a really bad cut on his lip. So I took him out of the cage. I examined him and he has a full on gash in his lip. I will actually attach a photo right here so you guys can see. It was bleeding, it was raw, it would, it just did not look pretty and I was like, you know what, this is the sign for me to just split them up and not keep them together any longer. I didn't want to run the risk of something worse breaking out and this alone was a reason for me to now separate them and divide them into, into separate cages. Stuff like this is very common amongst boy guinea pigs and if they are doing this, it's only going to get worse from there. Ezra is now living in his own cage. He's living in a 3 by 3 and then Winston and Kai are living in a three by four. As you can also see, I blocked off the entire top half with more grids. They actually come off. They just attach, detach right here and these will come off because my boys have been escaping a lot more. Ezra has been doing a lot more too, but Winston is the worst culprit. He always constantly will jump out, especially when these are off. Vision has figured out how to do it. Wanda has figured out how to do it, which is another story I'm going to get to. As you guys can see, I have a divider going on right here. I actually just connected some cubes with some zip ties and then I also connected them back there with some zip ties. So as you can see, Ezra is just over there in his own cage and then Kai and Winston are right over here. It's really, really, really upsetting to see the boys, um, you know, separated. I've had these little boogers since they were almost four weeks old and to now just see them, you know, fully separated and not getting along really does upset me a lot. To be honest, um, I think that Kai could be alone and Winston can live with Ezra because they do get along. Obviously, you know, with Ezra situation him having a cut on his lip it's just better for him to be on his own and just making sure he's like super clean in his cage as clean as possible I should say and also it doesn't run the risk of you know Winston kind of doing anything to make it worse so Mr. Kai here I feel so bad for him as you guys can see like his eye just seems like not right it's definitely a lot more squinty than it usually is and I just feel so bad for him he's just so sad but nonetheless the piggies are in a much better situation and keeping them the most so, safe as you guys could have saw in my bonding video when it came to Jojo and Vision it definitely did not go well the last hour was one of the most scariest probably bonding processes I've ever done, especially given that they were males. I was already anxious, so even just that happening, I was like, this is not gonna work out. So as you can see behind me, Vision and Jojo are actually living in their own separate cages. They both are living in a three by three CNC cage with a divider in the middle. I had Vision actually jump into Jojo's cage a couple days ago and they got into a huge fight. Luckily, I was in the room, no one got hurt. I covered one of them with a blanket immediately. I actually had to end up doubling the 
grids to be too high so Vision could no longer get inside of there and run the risk of him getting hurt because he seriously could get injured given that Jojo is just super aggressive towards him. I really guys honestly don't know if Jojo is going to be paired with any pig. Seeing how he interacted with Vision just lets me know that there's an aggressive side to Jojo and it worries me that if I was to put another pig in there or try with another pig of mine or whatever the case may be it's going to be the same situation and I really do not I can't afford to have another pig get hurt so I don't know what I'm gonna do I think I'm going to keep him alone for the time being and just see if I can just maybe figure out getting him a baby boy which is something I also want to mention <laughs> because there may be some baby guinea pigs on the way shockingly enough Wanda and Vision had surprisingly enough also those two escaped the cage at the same time I walked in here in the morning and I found both of them Vision was just prancing around the room Wanda was under a piece of fleece which lets me know that they were in this room together for hours and I don't know what happened in those hours um, but it can only lead me to believe one thing so we have Wanda on pregnancy watch right now so if the case may be that Wanda is pregnant and she does give birth to some babies I am really hoping that they are boys because if that is the case we can obviously bond them with Vision and Jojo and they will have friends I am going to keep a really close eye on Wanda and just making sure I'm weighing her every single week and making sure that there's no drastic and huge changes because if it is and it is happening with her weight increasing upwards uh, this is going to be a pregnancy so I really really hope not we got Vision who's drinking his water but of course it would have to be Vision and Wanda like nonetheless like it's like they almost know that they were supposed to be together and it's really funny because Vision loves peeping his head over here and Wanda loves going up here as well and they love to just like be nose to nose with one another so it is funny that they did come out of their cages at the same time and could result in some potential babies if they have two boys if you guys are familiar with the Marvel series then I'm going to be even more shocked and surprised again let's hope not I don't need any more babies but obviously I wouldn't be mad if they were boys because it just works with my situation I've decided to actually move all of my boys to the bottom level Caroline and Wanda live down here and just given the case of again them escaping and just running the risk of pregnancy I want to move Caroline and Wanda up here and then move my three girls over here they're actually living in a three by six so they're going to be moving over here and be living in a three by seven so they'll actually get an extra cube of space which is really really nice and I feel like they need it too because they love to run around and get zoomies they get along really well this cage size is perfect for them but if I can provide them with more room I'm definitely going to do so look at little Toby he's so cute he's just snoozing away in his bunk bed also you guys I'm actually having a restock soon on my bunk beds so if you guys are interested in buying them it's not those kinds these are my old kind but my new ones are even better I'm doing a restock soon so make sure to be following me on Instagram to stay up to date when that's happening oh my god look at Lennon too she is just snoozed away <laughs> I kid you not guys, my pigs love their bunk beds. It's like the ultimate sleeping spot. Look how adorable he is. Hi. Hi, little bud. Oh my goodness, look at your little red eyes. These are all the bunk bed pads that I have to make. They're all layered and ready to go. I also have to make these. I have to finish those, do these, do that. Here are all the tunnels that are all made and some pee pads and stuff. I worked on a bunch of these today. Here's the uh, behind the scenes of what you guys don't see basically when it comes to running my small business and for the pig room. But that's not how you get to me. Sit in the shade, talk to late, and then we'll see. We can go for walks, stroll down the city park, and maybe, just maybe. Excuse my skin right now. I am currently having, you guys don't know, a nice and flush. It's just a pill I take and it makes my skin super red because it just runs a bunch of like blood through my body. It actually seems like Wanda might not be pregnant. I think that last time I did give her the third cut Timothy Hay, I think that was a result of the bloat. So that is really great news. I'm really happy to just know that Wanda may not have babies on the way. Hello. There's Caroline. Hi. 
Hello. She still did gain the 200 grams, but she is not looking as big as she was a couple days ago. So I'm really thinking that again, it just was the third cut Timothy Hay and just making her a little bit bloated. But I guess I know now that third cut Timothy Hay can cause bloating issues or whatever the fact it just made her gain like a really substantial amount of weight in a quick time. All the piggies are sleeping. They're in their little houses. We got Eris over here, Kyle, and then Teddy. You guys, you came through. You guys came so through, as you guys can see behind me. You guys bought so many bunk beds. You guys actually sold me out for, I think this is like the third or fourth time. Apologies for the lighting. Also, apologies for the, my appearance right now. It is super early in the morning, as you can probably tell by my voice. For some reason, I'm always stuffy in the morning. I am going to USPS right now to drop off your guys' packages. I actually had a scheduled pickup for USPS to come by to my house and pick these up because it was just going to be a lot easier. I think I have like 34 packages in total. I think it's like 80 pounds in total. And it would just have been easier for them to come by to my house and just load them into their truck and take them to their facility. But they never came. Um, they actually did. They dropped off a package that I was receiving and didn't bother to knock on my door, let me know they were there and had to pick up my packages. So I was on the phone with USPS for like a half hour, basically explaining the situation about how no one came. And you know, I'm cutting them some slack because it's my first time, so I was kind of unaware of how it worked. Um, but nonetheless, like they were supposed to knock on my door and let me know that they were there to pick up my packages, um, but it didn't happen. But you know what, I'm not complaining. It, it is what it is. So right now I am gonna go drive them to the facility myself. While I was on the phone with one of the USPS girls, um, I had mentioned that the one closest to me, the one USPS location that's closest to me, um, the lady actually told me, she's like, yeah, we can't take more than like five packages at a time. And I was like, that's weird. Like, why is that? And then she basically said that like, if you have large quantities of packages that need to be going out, you have to go to the other facility, which is about 10 minutes from that one. He basically said to me that like, that's not true. Like you should be able to drop off all your packages at any USPS location. But just for the sake of it, like I'm just gonna drive to this one. It's not that far for me. And I've gone to this one multiple times and I do know that they have a big mail room. So maybe that's why, but whatever. I'm not even gonna like think about it that far into depth because um, I'm just still kind of aggravated that they didn't take it. As I pass a USPS truck on my left. Thank you guys so much for selling me out this is seriously incredible i'm so happy that your piggies are going to have this in their possession and in their cages and enjoy them they're just so much fun and i'm talking about my piggy bunk beds you guys also ordered a bunch of other things like pee pads squish tunnels um, and so many other things i am preparing for another launch very soon on my etsy shop I actually am waiting on a bunch of more bunk beds to be delivered to me. Um, I think they're going to be coming in about two weeks to three weeks. It's going to take some time just because they're coming um, overseas. So I'm really, really excited. I definitely have my work cut out for me the rest of this month because I just have so much going on, but it's really, really fun stuff, so I'm excited for that. Go to UPS, let's drop these off, and I will talk to you guys later. So, it is now a couple days later since I've last talked to you guys, and as you can see, there's been quite a little bit of a change that's happened to the pig room. I ended up actually turning this cage from over here to this way. I figured that this orientation might look a little bit better than how it was before. And guys, I hate it. I don't think it looks right. I think the feng shui of the room is off. I think it actually takes up more space than how it was before. So I'm definitely going to move it back to where it was. I really only wanted to try out this because I had plans of actually putting this against the wall and then extending it by a couple more grids this way. So that way, like with the configuration of the cages and providing more space for all the single boys, like it, it would have just worked out that way a lot better. But I really just don't like this. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I just feel like I have less floor space. So definitely going to change this. At at least once a week this is how the room starts to look uh, by the end of the week it just gets super messy with a bunch of stuff also sorry if you can hear this going I actually purchased this space heater today because it has been getting super cold in here because it's now getting to be the colder months. I do have a window AC unit and it's just like the draft comes in a lot in here. And especially with the pigs being close to the window, that's also another reason why I want to move it over here or because I don't want a constant draft on them because it can get them sick. There is a slight draft through the AC unit because it's just not, you know, perfectly like sealed up. There are like little cracks and stuff. So I do need to make this room a lot warmer than what it is typically within the mornings because I just find 
find that throughout the night and then when it hits the morning it's really really cold I actually picked it up from I think it's AC AC hardware I think that's what you want to call it I don't know my brother suggested me going there and I was like you know what we'll check it out and they had this one right here this one was $50 it's the infrared radiant heater and I like this one because first off it's good for a medium-sized room which is kind of what this room is it's not super big um, actually I think it's on the smaller end in regards to like a bedroom size I also do like this one because it has a uh, safety shut off so in case it's to overheat or if anything's to kind of uh, like a, a circuits to blow or anything like that it will automatically turn off so definitely love this so this is gonna be super safe for the piggies and I know there are plenty of ways in keeping pigs really nice and warm during the colder months my house does have central heating and also air but because I am basically on the third level like the attic level it takes a while for the heat to actually get up here and by the time it actually reaches this level it's just not strong enough and I can definitely already tell that the piggies have perked up with this being on for the last couple hours and they just seem like they like the cozier warmer temperature which I'm really happy about I'm just planning on keeping it outside of my door and not in here because I think it will get way too hot if it is to be in here but this is like a perfect size for this room it's not too hot it's not too cold it's like a perfect temperature again as you guys can see it is just super messy in here I actually need to reorganize this closet I just have a bunch of stuff thrown in there I have some laundry to do I have to do some cage cleanings I actually didn't end up spot cleaning last night because I was at a wedding until 1 30 a.m. last night so I didn't have a chance to get around to that because I just wanted to go right to bed because I was super tired so I'm gonna be spending the rest of the day just getting everyone's cages cleaned spot cleaned and then picking up this room and then I'm also really excited because I'm going to be talking about this air purifier that a company was kind enough to send me and I'm just gonna give you guys the rundown about that how it's working out because I've actually been trying it out for the last two weeks we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright I just got this new container made out of glass, super big for the piggies. Typically when it comes to storing their food, I will just keep it inside of their bags. But I figured, you know what, I kind of want to up my storage game and also the aesthetic of the pig room, just making things look a little bit nicer. I just wanted to just have something that was easy and I didn't have to like kind of open these bags up. Especially when these get really low, just having this like big piece of plastic with only a little bit of food in there. I don't really like it, so I think this is going to look a lot nicer. Now before I put these inside of the jar, 
are, I just wanted to mention that I actually this week switched up their pellet routine. So for the last months of having my pigs, ever since I first got my first two, I have been feeding them the Oxbow Essentials brand. And I've been hearing from a lot of my friends and also the guinea pig community on Instagram and saying that this actually contains soy, which is not the best for pigs. But I figured I would invest and get the more expensive brand of food from Oxbow. This is the Garden Select brand. This does not contain soy, which is what this contains. I figured that this didn't come in a 25 pound bag and this did and this was the more cheaper one I believe this one was like $25 off the of Chewy and this one is like $30 for only an 8 pound bag I would continue to give them these pellets right here but just mix it with the more healthier version it may take a couple days or tries for them to get used to these ones but yeah I'm just going to continue to give all my pigs a mixture and just kind of see what they want to do plus it's really good for a variety so I definitely don't think they'll be mad at that but yeah let's just pour these inside of here and then we'll see what it looks like Hey guys, so we are approaching the end of this week's vlog. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. I'm sorry if it's been a little bit sporadic. I feel like I haven't been really doing any like dedicated things to the pigs in quite some time, at least for my sake. I mean, I did post actually an unboxing video, which is more guinea pig related, but I feel like I've been doing a lot of like chores and errands and tasks and stuff and I haven't actually shown you the pigs, but I am going to be dedicating a lot of videos towards them in the next coming videos, so definitely expect that coming soon. I wanted to end off today's video because I get a bunch of questions from you guys on my Instagram and also my YouTube and how I manage the smell of my pig room because having this many animals, it can get stinky, but I definitely have figured out ways to implement my routine to keep the smell down to a minimum. And along with taking out the trash, vacuuming the room, disinfecting tables and doing spot cleans and full cage cleanings there is a major thing that I think is by far the most important thing that you could possibly do when it comes to having this many animals and that is ooh. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was Etsy. And that is an air purifier. I had a company nice enough to send me an air purifier for free. They're not paying me to say this. They sent me this. This is by the brand Afloia. It is a 1,000 square foot purifier. It can purify a room up to that big and it is super heavy duty compared to my one that I had in here before, which is by the brand Lavoie, which is still an amazing one. It's a little bit more compact and smaller and it has a little bit more different settings. It, honestly, I think it works just as well just because it can handle this space and also this one can probably handle this space plus more. This is the one that they sent me and I just want to read off the specs to you guys so I get this all correct um, and then I'll give you guys kind of my honest reviews and opinions about this one. So this is by the brand Afloia. It is a smart air purifier for a large home covering about a thousand square feet which is like massive. I think that's even like bigger than my old apartment. It does have a true HEPA three-stage filter so there's kind of three layers within the filter itself and making sure that it's really kind of purifying everything within the air when it comes to all the particles. For dust, all those kind of things that you can find within a uh, home and even when you have a pet room like I do. This is really good for removing food smells, gases, and also ideal for smokers, allergy sufferers, and also pet owners. So it is super catered towards having pets, which is perfect for me because my pigs can get super stinky. There are cases where I don't keep up with spot cleaning sometimes if I just get home super late and I'm just not feeling up for it. So having this thing on hand helps me out a ton and I really do like having an air purifier in here. Next thing about it is that it has an intelligent model monitoring system so when it does get super for my case like on, when I'm getting the hay for my piggies it gets really dusty in here and there's a lot of particles from the dust from the hay in here the air purifier itself will actually detect when it's getting bad in here air quality wise and will actually amplify the speed the fan speed of it and work heavy duty to really make sure that the air is going to stay at a consistent and also healthy air pollution rate which is really really nice so as soon as I'm actually getting their hay I'll notice that this kicks on which is really really cool it has a quick pure Purification, three layer filter, which is the first one as a fine preliminary filter. Two is the HEPA, which is really great when you have pets. And it also has a carbon filter. The carbon filter is really good for fumes from like cigarettes or smoke and pet odor. The HEPA filter is really good for bacteria. And then the first one, the preliminary filter, is really good for dust, hair, and pet fur. So the main thing that I like about this is it's super, super quiet. Now it does only have two speeds, but the first speed is super quiet. So I'm talking right now and you guys cannot even hear this thing. It's like a subtle 
all hum, which is really nice. So I'm able to keep it on while I'm filming. It's not going to be distracting. There's not going to be a buzzing noise or a white noise in the background. So I really do like that about this air purifier. But the only thing I will say when it comes to the air purifier that I don't like, which is the only thing, is that it only has two speeds. So there's only a low speed and then a high speed. The high speed is really high, guys. So I'm actually going to turn it on so you guys can hear the difference. I really do wish there was a middle speed just because I kind of like having a little bit of a noise in here throughout the day and also the night for the piggies because it can get very quiet in here and just for personal preference I just feel like they just need sound so anything from like a TV to a fan or even an air purifier I think it's really nice to kind of give off some sound but with this one I just can't do that because the high setting is just way too loud I mean my pigs probably don't mind but just as personal preference I just don't want to keep it on all the time so here is the high setting so you guys can hear Yeah, so it's it's super loud, as you guys can hear. Um, it sounds like a helicopter, like a plane. Um, it's definitely a soothing sound. There's no rumbling, there's no shaking. The fan doesn't sound like bad quality. It sounds very consistent, like white noise. Honestly, I'd be really happy with using this in my own room because I definitely could fall asleep with this because I love white noise. So if you guys are even interested in having this just in your bedroom alone, you could even have it in there. But for the case of having an air purifier in my pig room, especially where I do a lot of filming, it's just not practical to have this setting on, obviously. But just gonna turn that down back to auto. And when it's on auto, it will just detect the air quality in the room. And then if it gets again, like I said before, like the like hay and you're bringing that out and all the dust is in the air, it'll kick back on to that setting right there. So, so overall, I absolutely love it. I have nothing bad to say other than the fan speed. And honestly, that's probably not even a thing to most people. It's just kind of a personal picky preference of mine. Um, but overall, it does a really great job and I really do like it. I just have it up here for like display purposes to show you guys while I'm talking with you. I actually bring it onto the the floor and put it in the middle of the room because you're not technically supposed to have anything within 15 inches all around it because there needs to be a sufficient amount of room around it just so it can suck up all the air throughout the room. So I do move this from here because it's not enough space from the back wall. So the company was actually kind enough to give you guys a $50 off coupon and also an additional 20% off which ends on the 10th. So you guys have a couple days to actually go ahead and purchase it if you would like. I will have all the information linked down below and also the discount code. So go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested. If you guys have a lot of animals like me, it is definitely something worth investing in. They can be a bit pricey, but with these discounts, it will definitely be a fair price for you guys to go ahead and get yourself one. Alrighty guys, so we are going to end this video right here. My piggies are all anticipating their veggies because it is six o'clock, so we were a half hour past the veggie time, so I'm sure they are definitely mad at me, but let's go ahead and end this video off. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always, and also subscribe for more videos every single week. If you'd like to go check out my Etsy, I will have it linked in the description as well along with my Instagram where you guys can stay up to date on all of my piggy content and also behind the scenes of everything that is going on in the pig room. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.